Hi everyone, it's me, Hannah Medium. Today I wanted to talk about ego death. You see that banded around an awful lot on social media. Death of the ego. And, and what does that actually mean? Well, I don't think it actually means anything because... In true terms, you can't kill your ego. It's a part of being human. You can't get rid of your humanness by being more spiritual on earth because that's not what we're here for. So I think there is improvement that we all undergo as a person when we start working with spirit. We become more thoughtful. We become happier. And I think what really happens is we become happier and more confident in ourselves, which means we allow other people more space uh, to to be themselves too. I think all of this disharmony that we see out there and all of these people that are so unkind, if you're happy with yourself and you're happy with your life, you wouldn't take it out on anybody else, would you? You wouldn't care what anyone else is doing. And so I think that when we're looking at the term ego death, what we really mean is trying to hold that space for other people that need it as they find their way and the understanding that we're all on a journey and that we have to allow people to go through the journey just as we have to allow ourselves to have it. We don't arrive here perfect. That's not the point. The point is trying your best. So no, I don't think you can kill off your ego. In fact, there's some really bloody brilliant parts of your ego that you need to be able to function as a human, to get things done, to push yourself in the right direction. So it's about balance as with all things, but don't tie yourself up because when you bumped into Barbara on the street, you didn't like her shoes and your first thought was, good God, what are they? Because that's human. It's about your deeds and your actions and trying your best, always.